So if a satellite or really anything wants to stay in space, it needs to move at a certain speed called orbital velocity. Now for a normal circular orbit, the speed is not directed upwards or away from the ground. It's actually directed more or less sideways to the earth. If we were to turn off the earth's gravity, this object would just travel in a straight line and pass the earth by. But because the earth's gravity is still a very powerful force, even in space, it pulls the object back towards the planet. And yes, there is gravity in space. The moon doesn't just hang around circling us because it thinks that we're really cool or anything like that. So if a satellite wasn't traveling fast enough, it would fall back to Earth. If it was moving too fast, the satellite would fly off into space. But if you get your speed just right, the Earth's gravity will keep you trapped in an orbit. Always falling, but never hitting the ground. Now that's the technical explanation and it kind of confuses a lot of people. So here's a little animation I put together. Well, let's say you have a ball and you throw it. You could probably toss it over a house or a tree or something, but it will go up. Then it will come back down because you know, gravity. Now, if you're real strong, like Superman or Uncle Rico, you might be able to throw a football over a mountain or something, but it would still come back down because yep, gravity. But I mean, that would still be really impressive, and I'm sure Uncle Rico could probably go pro or at least win a state championship or something like that. But if you have all the energy and power of a rocket, you could throw the ball over the horizon, and if there's nothing to slow the ball down, it won't ever come back down. Now, like I said, there's still gravity acting on the ball, and that's why it will keep circling the Earth, but because it will maintain its horizontal speed, and that's the important part, the horizontal speed, it will keep flying past the curve of the Earth. So Isaac Newton was the first person to publish something that discussed the idea of an orbiting object, though it wasn't until 1903 when Konstantin Slavovsky... Hold on, give me one second. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. Uh, this Russian guy published how fast an object needed to be going to maintain a minimum low Earth orbit. He found that an object needs to be moving at about 4.0 miles per second to maintain low Earth orbit. Now, this is an absurd amount of speed, and it takes even the most powerful rockets close to 20 minutes of constant acceleration to reach those velocities. And honestly, these speeds can only be achieved in space. Why? Well, because there is no air in space, and otherwise the rockets would bump into a whole lot of air particles, and that would slow them down and cause a lot, like a ton, of aerothermal heating, which is a concept I talk about in another video. Orbital flights will stay in space because they are speeding sideways so fast that they just miss the Earth as they fall. <laughs> 